guys, Tank and Trucker here, and we are going to go ahead and do a review of the T25 Pilot 1. I uh, like to apologize first off because uh, I've been out west and it just real crappy ping out that way. Uh, and I didn't even have time to play tanks. Just with the loads I was I was getting, I was just constantly driving, um, pull over for a while, sleep, get back up and drive some more. So. I uh, apologize that I'm just now getting this out. I know several people have already done reviews on it. Um, you know, I like to give you a no, like a no bias, just an honest, no bullshit um, review of the tank. And uh, I have played a couple matches in it. And uh, so far, I can honestly say don't waste your money. Uh, there's no way I knew I was going to be able to do the mission, so I went out and paid the 32 bucks for it. And, uh, you know, but I collect tanks, and I don't mind paying you know the money so i can do a review for you guys to give you an honest opinion of what i think of it and uh but we'll go over it real quick uh basically the armor sucks just trash uh for the hull it has 76 in the front 76 in the turret and the side it has 50 in the hull 63 in the turret and in the rear you have 38 in the hull and 63 in the turret so basically everything that hits you is going to penetrate you. Um, I've been hit right in the uh, gun mantle. It just goes right through it. There is supposed to be spaced armor there. And uh, well, you can fool me because every round that hits me goes through me. The gun on it sucks. It's got a 90 millimeter gun. Rate of fire is 7.69 rounds a minute. Standard pen is 192. That's, um, that is pretty darn low for a... Uh, tier 8. Uh, the premium rounds uh, are at least APCR and it bumps you up to 243, but that's still low for a premium round. 45 for HE. Your average damage is 240 for your premium and your standard rounds and 320 for your HE. 45 pen with an HE. Uh, if you're shooting at maybe a 6, you might be able to get that 320 <laughs> average damage or like a scorpion, something with no armor, but yeah, most, uh, you get into two, a tier 9 or 10 match, that's just gonna, that might, I carry like, like, one or, what, I actually got six rounds, I'll change that probably to like two rounds, just to, uh, for like recapping. Uh, average damage per minute is 1846, and dispersion is 0.36, aim time is two seconds. That's the stack. Uh... My rate of fire is 9.12 rounds a minute, so my reload is 6.58 seconds. Turret traverse is 48, and the hull traverse is 45.87, so it spins pretty quick. Uh, you don't have to worry uh, worry about getting circle strafe too bad. Gun depression is great at negative 10 and uh, plus 20, but even with that negative 10, you just have no armor. Um, so when you shoot, you need to get pulled back real quick. My aim time with the setup I have is 1.88 seconds, which is great. And my dispersion is 0.34, but I've got a pretty decent crew in here. Um, my average damage per minute is 2188. You have 1,450 hit points, and you'll go through them pretty quick. Uh, I found out, and you'll see in the match I just had, don't get greedy, because it will cost you because everything pens. Even if you pop your turret over, and I think that's where I got hit in the last shot, didn't save me. <laughs> uh, my weight is 37.79 ton. So, yeah, if you're going to smack into a light tank, yeah, you might be able to get away with it. But a uh, medium and a heavies, I would not do it. Engine power is 530 horsepower. Specific power to weight is 14.03. So it's pretty good. Uh, top speed is 55 and forward and 20 in reverse. And uh, with a, that specific power to weight, you'll you'll get up to that 55, and you'll maintain it pretty good. Uh, concealment is 18.9 stationary, and I think the uh, 4.55 is concealment. Hmm, that must be shooting. Concealment moving is 14.34, uh, so even on the move, it's still pretty good. And it must be moving and shooting is 3.59. View range is 414, but that's also with a really good crew and vents. So, you know, at least it's it's got decent view range. And the signal range is 795. 
Um, if you want to hold on for a second, I'll have some gameplay for you. Uh, but like I, I was telling you, if you can get it for free, awesome, good for you. If you pay for one or two of the tokens, you know, I can that's I can see that, a couple bucks. But uh, if you're thinking of going out and paying the 32 bucks like I did, save your money. Um, get a super Pershing. You got the great armor. A lot slower. I mean, it's a medium. It's one of the slowest mediums you'll ever be in. Uh, the M46 Ripper Patton. The, I would get that over this. Um, yeah, there's several other. The T26 E5 Scorpion G. I, I would get every other premium before I would pay for this one. Um, you know, I do the reviews, so I don't mind paying the 32 bucks for it. Uh, but, you know, just keep your money in your wallet or buy a different premium that's gonna you know do you good because this one no armor and the gun sucks pretty much that's just pretty much how it is so if you want to hold on for a minute i'll be right back with uh, some gameplay for you Alrighty, so we find ourselves on westfield and this gameplay is sponsored by mountain dew that is who made this tank. <laughs> That's what you have for armor is Mountain Dew cans. Um, this thing has absolutely no armor, guys. Um, the gun sucks. Uh, I saw basically tier 10 match, so I knew I was going to shoot just straight premium. Uh, standard mat or standard rounds on this only have 192 pen. So even you know some of their tier 8s that were on this WZ-131 she's uh, the uh, AC-48, Panther 2 CDC, the turrets on that stuff even the turrets on that I would have had trouble, it would have con you know, contested the the um, penetration on this so I just basically knew I was going to shoot straight premium rounds uh, in order to try and penetrate anything excuse me and you'll find if you do get this, it has absolutely just the crappiest armor. Uh, the CDC, I think, has better armor. Uh, you'll bounce more off that than you will this, because at least the CDC's got some funky angles to it, you know, and it's got some good uh, frontal slope. This thing, oh, yeah, if you get hit, it's it's going through you. I'm telling you right now, every round that hit me in this match penned me no problem. I think I got hit with one premium round and the rest were standard rounds and they all ripped right through me. I get a nice shot in the back of that 1390 there for 250. Two, I believe 240 is the average damage. Yeah, I hit the PTA for 211. I did ammo rack, which was nice, but... I was going to be able to get some shots on the 1390. It was coming up high enough there, but hit the dirt there. The gun is it's pretty accurate. That Object 263 was nuts going up there like that. I don't know what he was thinking. If anything, he should have went up on the hill over there with the heavies. He'd have been better off. All right, hit that uh, 1390 in the side there, and all I did was uh, get a critical hit on him. See that one right there? I'm going to pause it just for a second. Let's see where that went through, because it went right through the turret. Yeah. Uh, actually, it went right through here. I thought it went through the uh, front of the gun mantle, but he shot right above the gun mantle and it went right through there. Just no problem. Easy cheesy. And you'll have to forgive me when I get shot. I'm going to pause it just to kind of see where the rounds do go through. Because uh, every round I got hit with, it, it went pen me no problem. Now over in the bush... Watch the CDC for a second. Oh, I took his track off. Yes, I didn't. Right there, the WZ-132 hit me in the 
Let's see, where did they hit me? Tell ya, I'm going to have to put my mods uh, back on here for uh, that paintball mod. So I, oh, right there. Okay, so one round went right through there. And I'm not seeing where the other one went through. Sorry, guys, and I hate to, I hate pausing like this because I know it's kind of monotonous when you're trying to watch it. Just wanting to see where uh, I was getting penned because I thought one went right through my gun mantle. But that went right through those, I mean, everything is going right through this, no problem. So I scooted back out of the way, but I knew there was a 5051 up there, and he wasn't even lighting. Shot right between this Commander Coppola and the uh, Gunner Coppola on that freaking thing. I'm like, dang it. Shot him right in the turret there and ricochet. And that's with a premium round. That's what I mean. The premium rounds on this thing. 243 is just not, not too hot. Now the Panther 2 did get an upgrade on the gun. He puts one through me here in a second. I bounced off him. A little blind shot on him. It's hit me right in the side. I know that pretty much. Just wanted to kind of see where. And can't see anyways. So down to 223 hit points. So basically I'm a one shot. Gotcha. I was able to take uh, take him out. They're WZ-131. He only had 10 hit points left. But hey, it's a gun in the game and now he's gone. So... Now I knew that 5051 was still probably up in the trees there. He was up here, but oh, there he is right there. So he lit up there, and he got pretty lucky. All of us missed him. Thought I'm coming around the corner here. I knew I'd probably be able to get a shot off on that Scorpion G, but then I was afraid that I was going to get. Uh, knocked out by the 5051. So I'm able to come up here and with the, it's got great gun depression, so I was able to pop over. Our uh, STRV 103 0. You just call us a bunch of fucking idiots. So I hit the Scorpion G. He calls us a bunch of fucking idiots, but look where he's at. Hmm. Gee whiz. I wonder why he got killed. <laughs> I'm a fucking douchebag. He calls us fucking idiots, but he's up on the hill there with in front of the bush, not behind it, in front of it. Wonders why he gets killed, and he calls us fucking idiots. I thought I was going to be okay just popping my turret over. I thought, well, you know, I got some spaced armor there. TVP shooting APCR does have good pen, but I thought I might be able to squeak up there. And no such luck. And he didn't light until after he, uh, after he shot and took me out. And then, you know, it was good, though, because it actually lit him up for the uh, 41 and the CDC that were over there. What I should have actually done, uh, excuse me, is waited until... Uh, the 41 GF came up around there and lit him, and then uh, went to try and get some shots on him. But we end up, well, we end up taking him out. So we end up winning that match, which was real nice. It's, I'm sorry, I get a good laugh. He's in front of the bush. He gets his ass handed to him, and we're the fucking idiots. Hmm, what's wrong with that picture? <laughs> Anyways, if you want to hold on for a minute, I will have some uh, post-game stats for you. So I'll be right back. Well, here's the result of that match. Uh, got a little bit greedy at the very end there, thinking I might be able to get a shot on that TVP, but he uh, obviously used uh, some very good uh, camo. Uh, look, he, it, for, for him to be up in that bush in a medium and stay uh, hid like that and not light, uh, I don't think he even actually lit a couple times when he was shooting. I don't think he actually, no, he didn't even light when he shot me, matter of a fact, I don't think. Uh, but anyways, um, so 
I ended up shooting all premium rounds on this just due to the fact it was a tier 10 match and I didn't want to uh, just bounce and bounce and bounce. So I knew I was going to lose credits right off the top. But uh, so we hit the Leopard PTA and that's just a big ammo rack and I did knock out his ammo rack, hit him three times for 692 damage. Um, hit the uh, AMX CDC once for 193. I'm finding that uh, for a gun, the average damage on this is what, 240? Yeah, 240. I've been getting a lot of low rolls with it, it seems like. Um, hit the Panther 2 once for uh, 269. Just after I said I keep getting low rolls there, uh, 269, that was a good hit. Uh, hit the Scorpion G, knocked out his uh, track there, hit him for 220. So that was a low roll. That was a low roll. That 193 was a real low roll. Hit the AMX 1390, knocked out his track, hit him for 250. So I got a pretty good roll on that one. And the WZ 131 uh, knocked out his track, hit him twice for 271 and killed him. Uh, that was a Master Badge Class 2, Spotter, and a Fire for Effect. I lit up their 5051, and I think that's when I got killed, is how I lit him. Uh, their Leopard PTA and their CDC. So I did uh, 1,895 damage, got one kill, and got 938 experience, which was the highest experience in that match, and uh, fifth highest in damage. Shot 19 shots, hit 12 pen 9, so even using the premium shells, because it doesn't have the best pen in the world, they still bounced a few off them. Did 1,895 damage, uh, 682 of it was uh, more than 300 meters. And this thing has absolutely, absolutely no armor. It's just shit. It's shit armor. Five hits uh, I received and all five penned. Um, damage six, destroyed one. Damage caused with my assistance was 1,168. I like tracking a lot of stuff. If you'll notice when on, I was going over this stuff, most everything here, that was a track shot, track shot, track shot. This one I think was uh, ammo rack. Um, I like to track stuff and... Uh, it helps your teammates able to cause damage, let alone I'm causing damage, but my teammates are too. So it helps them get damage, but it also helps me get damage, uh, you know, through tracking them. Made 76,419 credits, uh, 83,600 for resupplying the ammo, 8,265 for the tank, so I lost 15,446. Um, and a tier... 9 and 10 match, this thing, well, tier 9, you might be able to get away with some uh, standard rounds, but you're going to you're gonna have to sling a lot of uh, premium rounds for 9 and 10s. Uh, if it's a tier 8 match, I would have shot standard rounds, but 198 pen is just, it's, uh, pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah, oh, excuse me, 192. Wow, that's less than... Uh, that's that's worse than I thought. I haven't done the actual review yet. I did the did a match in it, and I wanted to use this one. I only had uh, uh, this two matches total. This is uh, my second match. The first one uh, I wanted to use that, but we had clan wars going on, so I had to get into that real quick, and I ended up losing the uh, after action report uh, or the results of the match. So I just figured I'd replay it, and, and it was about the same. So. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, you know, I knew I wasn't going to be able to get this tank uh, for free by doing the missions. Uh, but I do like collecting tanks. Uh, pretty much got every tank in the game except for just a few now with the new tech tree that came out. Uh, I only need the tier 10 uh, tank destroyer for the Swedes. And I think uh, the tier 2... And three uh, for the uh, standard mediums, light medium line for the Swedes. And I think that's it. So about three or four tanks is all I need to have them all again. But, um, you know, so I went out and paid for the tank. It was like, I think, 30, 32 bucks, something like that. Um, you know, if you're on the, you know, fence about buying it, uh, to be honest with you, I wouldn't waste the money. If you can get it for free, great. If you get it, you know, most most of your 
uh, missions done and you only need like one or two of those uh, tokens, yeah, I, you know, I could see paying for one or two of them. I think they're two, to, two bucks, two something apiece. Um, but, you know, to go right out and buy it, nah, you know, it's just it's the gun on it really kind of, uh, the penetration really sucks. That's a big letdown. If it had better penetration for the premium, or excuse me, just the standard rounds, uh, and the premium would be nice too because... You know, you get into a uh, tier 10 match like that was. I shot all premium and still bounced a few. 243 is not uh, going to really contest too many of the tier 10s too well unless you're shooting them in the uh, butt or the side, which, you know, it's all uh, game dependent on where you end up on the map if you're able to even get shots on the, the backs uh, or the sides of a tank. Where I went, I knew I was going to be shooting mainly the fronts and turrets of tanks because of the hills there. So I knew I was going to shoot just straight premium rounds. Um, yeah, I couldn't see, you know, I, like I said myself, I collect tanks, so I buy them anyways. And I also buy them so that I can do reviews. If I could have got it for free, I would have much rather have done that. But like I said, you know, I just got back from California out in Washington State with a coming back east. I could not even pull over to play if I wanted to. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this thing has the, the armor on it. Just is trash. It is just shit armor. The gun's kind of shit. So, like I said, I, I wouldn't waste your money to go out and buy it. I basically was the guinea pig for you there. Sorry, it's a little late on uh, the review for me getting this out. Uh, but, like I said, you know, I couldn't even pull over and hook tanks or my computer up to play tanks if I wanted to uh, from the out west. is crappy internet, no signal, a lot of the truck stops out that way, um, they're not pilots or flying J's, and uh, that's where I get a, a better signal, uh, a lot of them have just crap signal, and it's free, so that, you know, what you get for free, you know, you know the saying, if it's free, you know, get what you pay for, um, yeah, so I apologize that, you know, I'm only getting this out now, I know several of the other people that do reviews on tanks have already done it, um, but, like I said, it's definitely not worth the money. I, I don't mind doing it uh, for, like, reviews, and I also collect tanks, like I said. But I can guarantee I won't be probably running this too awful much just with, it's just cr kind of crap, to be honest with you. But, you know, if you get it for free, good for you. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. We're at 96 people. When we hit 100, I'll be doing some giveaways. Uh, tank to uh, whoever uh, wins that and uh, some credits and uh, uh, gold uh, package and uh, for uh, like whoever gets third place will win some premium time so just a few more people uh, to get on the board and uh, we'll be able to go ahead and do that you guys take it easy be safe and I will see you on the battlefield